we ride for the mountains. It's here that we experience the vastness of being alive. Full breaths of clean air power our ascents. From the ridgetops, we see the earth unfold around us. Big blue skies are what the West is made of. On bikes, those skies mark unlimited potential for riding. Along high ridge lines, through valleys, and across deserts, connecting landscapes by bike. Gravity pulls us down wildflower covered slopes, and trails guide our descents. We plunge down fall lines, float over rocks, and wind through forests. Clean water fills our bottles, and soil connects our tires to the earth. I'm Kate Boyle, world champion, endurance mountain biker. I ride for the mountains. And I'm Kurt Refsneider, professional mountain biker and bike packer. I ride for the mountains. I live in a valley where the Tetons dictate when the sun rises. And I live in the central highlands of Arizona, where the monsoons create the summer colors. We've ridden on almost every continent, but the landscapes of the West are the most beautiful we've ever pedaled, and we're lucky to call them home. Spending so much time in a place, you get to know it well. It's impossible for us to ignore how climate change is impacting the trails and these places we love, both as mountain bikers and as citizens. Megafires are our new normal. Wildfire season is getting longer and smoky summers are here to stay. We check air quality and wind direction to see if it's safe to ride. Large fires present ever-growing challenges to keep trails open. And fire danger often closes public lands entirely. It's not just fire either. We're seeing all types of extreme weather events, record-setting rains, erode trails, and flood communities. At the same time, droughts are getting worse and water sources are disappearing. In the Southwest, ponderosa pines are dying from drought stress and fire, and they aren't regrowing. In the Rockies, once vibrant forests are being decimated by disease and beetle kill. It's heartbreaking to face the impacts that climate change is having on the mountain biking experience, on the experiences of all trail users, and on populations across the globe. But in the same way we mountain bike for the challenge, overcoming doubt and fear allows us to move forward. On the bike, it's about trying, failing, and believing in yourself enough to try again. It takes practice, problem solving, and relentless determination. I believe all mountain bikers have these skills. That's why we're equipped to take climate action now. This November, your vote will impact the future of our trails. You can also join Protect Our Winters or get involved with your local trail organization. We can use our collective influence, energy, and passion to take climate action by advocating for the outdoor playgrounds we love.